Hello, my nail queens, and welcome back to my channel. And welcome if you are new. Please make sure that you follow me on all my social media platforms, and let's get right into it. So today we're going to be checking out these Beatles Tippets Instant Apex Nails. They are a sculpted acrylic tip. So I am super excited to see what these are about. On the back side of the box are some of the directions as well as some things about the lamp. You can always pause to read if you would like. And on the side of the box is some of their cautions. As you can see where there is a circle and a red mark across it. And on the other side of the box, we get the Beatles logo. Bebo, B-U, B Beatles. So I am so excited about testing out this kit. We're gonna go ahead and take everything out of the box and go through it one by one. So first we get the application guide, which is just telling you how to prep your nails and all that good stuff. Next we get the Beatles nail gel glue. This is a 20 um, grams, which is seven fluid ounces, as well as on the back is the warning and directions. And this is a long lasting soak off uh, gel glue. So I am really excited to try that out for the first time. As well as we get the Beatles of uh, Face Gel, which is a 7.5 ml. And this is also a soak off product, but if you buy their gel polishes, you already know about this base coat and how good it is. So I'm gonna just leave that where it's at. <laughs> Take that as you may. Also, we get this beautiful buffer and foul combination. And I would have handed open this on camera just to kind of like give you guys a closer look at things and see how it looks. You got the beautiful Beatles logo on the front as well. And well, yeah, that logo. And on the back side is the buffer. So yeah, it feels pretty sturdy. So I'm super excited to test that out as well. And we also get their standard nail lamp, which is um, it's basically like automatically censored. Like when you put your hand up under it, it comes on and all that good stuff. I'm um, just showing you guys that the back of it is a, um, I wanna say A port because now we're on C ports with Android. So yeah, this is an A port. And I'm going to show you guys as well as the cord so you get an idea of what your cord is going to look like that comes in this kit if you not if you do not have this kit and you are like interested in getting this kit. So that's what the cord is looking like it is like <laughs> it is pretty long. So that was really nice to have a long cord to work with. If you know, you know. So yeah, without further ado though. Let's get into these tips, cause this is the main reason we're all here is to see what these tips are about, right? So you get 120 sculpted acrylic tips. These are the half matted long coffin and they come in 12 different sizes. So I'm gonna go ahead and take those out of the package just to show you guys like, I think like, look at how thick they are. Like they, they really thick, but you get five rows so that should hold you over for a good long time, like a long time. <laughs> so just gonna go ahead and show you guys like close up, like do you see how my glove is looking? Like behind it, my gloves are like magnified. But I'm showing you guys real quick, like how I look on my thumb. And I know I'm doing a lot of talking, please excuse me talking a lot because on this video this is really just me doing a actual honest review from my standpoint of what I think of these nails these videos that I post are no sponsored videos this is me like spending my money so and doing my nails as a licensed nail tech I enjoy this so yeah let's get back into these nails I went off scene for a minute but as you can see it looks like a contact lens is sitting on top of a surface to me that is the acrylic part i want to say like the actual apex of the nail so you can see closely like i'm holding it where you can see how it curves and they are really sturdy like i tried to squeeze these nails and 
they weren't budging they were not moving so you don't even have to use a base coat with these you don't have to build no structure to these you just basically put them on your nails and design them and you're at the door girl so i'm gonna go ahead and pick out my nail sizes let you guys enjoy that and i'll be back And as you already know, when you're picking out your nail sizes, you wanna make sure that they are fitting from sidewall to sidewall. So that way that your nails are not gonna be um, popping off or have any issues with lifting because your nails are gonna fit perfectly. Now taking the base gel and go ahead and putting a thin layer down on my nails. And I'm going to cure that for 60 seconds. Um, by the way, I did not prep my nails because I have to record more content for my social media as well as my YouTube videos. So for today's video, there is no prep included. But to make your nails last longer, you do need to prep your nails properly. So that way that your nails do not pop off. Um, like I said on today's video, I'm not doing that. So these nails will probably last two or three days because I'm not prepping my nails. But it is important to prep your nails to ensure your nails last longer. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab this thumbnail and I'm going to add the glue to it. I cannot explain how much glue to use because it's trial and error, really, honestly. Uh, practice makes better. <laughs> so over the over the time of like doing this type of nail I have learned to use less product um I have not learned the direct proper amount to use <laughs> so do that with as you may but just showing you guys a close-up of how much glue I decided to apply and I'm going to take my nail and brush the glue so I do this to ensure that it has a slip layer and to also make sure the glue does not go past my natural nail so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that at a 45 degree angle. Cure it for, well, five seconds. I keep wanting to say 60. <laughs> but cure for five seconds. And as you can see, we have a beautiful, flawless nail. No air bubbles. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Like, that is just a dream. <laughs> so as you can see close up, you see how the nail is flushed at the cuticle area and you can also see that apex where it's at and all of that good things that you are looking for in your nail structure so side view profile you can see everything so beautifully um so now i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing for this finger add in my glue and again i don't know how much to use just kind of go with the flow girl go with the flow <laughs> Um, brush it around just a little and then you're going to go in and create your slip layer and then you want to apply your nail at a 45 degree angle and again this all helps you not get any air bubbles in your nails and give you that more salon effect to your nails and we're going to cure that for five seconds upon our flash cure and after we apply all the nails we're going to go into the big lamp for 60 seconds and that will be how you apply your nails. And here we are with our nails all applied. Oh, I am liking this limb. I am liking the coffin look of these. 
I actually like these nails so far. So now I'm just going to take that 5-in-1 cuticle bit and I'm just going to go ahead and clean up around the cuticle area. I didn't have a lot of spillage, but also I like to have a nice flush cuticle area and it just makes the nails look so much better, like more like salon quality to me. So yeah, that's what I decided to do. And I'm just going to go ahead and do all of that to all of my nails and just creating, like I said, that more flawless salon look. You also want to make sure you are being very careful and gentle when you are doing this. I do not have my drill set at a high speed. It is set probably at a three at the most when I'm using this five in one drill bit. And this is just to ensure I don't cut myself or cause any damages to my cuticle area. You know, even though we have a nail enhancement on, we have to also remember that our cuticle area is very sensitive and it is very easy to cut and cause damages and also infections. I'm sorry, infections. So just making sure, be mindful of that when you are using these type of drill bits on acrylic nails or, you know, nail enhancements in general. Make sure you are not being careless and make sure you are being very gentle around the cuticle area. So I just wanted to come back and say that. Now, this part really wasn't necessary, but because of the thickness around the cuticle area to me, I felt like I needed to go in with this smaller cuticle bit and get into those cracks really good and just smooth it out just a little bit more just to make it more flawless and just to give it that more salon effect. Now I'm just going to go ahead and take this mini buffer, well mini sanding bin, mandrill, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I'm just going to take this and remove the shine from the nails and also like I said the apex was a little high up for my natural nail. My nail beds are pretty flat so I wanted to go in and kind of like smooth that down just a little bit more and yeah you you get the picture of what i'm doing so <laughs> i'm just gonna go ahead and continue to do that for the rest of the nails and yeah girl just work with what you got work with what you've got like i said for me i did a little bit more customization to my nails just based off what i like to see in an acrylic set and what i would like for my acrylic nails to look like so just going in and doing all of that to all of the nails Now we're just gonna grab the alcohol and wipe the nails off and just going in and making sure you remove all of that dust. That way you don't have any dust on your nails when you go in with your polishes. So after I had wiped the dust off of my nails, I realized that I wanted the shape to be like more end, like more narrow, more taped in, I guess you would say. So I went on ahead and grabbed my file and your girl went to work, you know, shaping the nails more to my nail shape and what I think fits my hands. So 
like I said, you may have to do a little bit more customization with these, just depending on your nails and how your nails are shaped. You know, you have short nail beds, long nail beds, rectangular nail beds, square nail beds. You have so many different nail beds. So not all nail tips, tips, <laughs> not all nail tips fit everybody nails the same. So this is the reason why I like to try out different things for my nails and you know see what works i do like the whole structure of these nails um it just makes me feel like they're so secure they're not going nowhere so i must say i do feel like for 25.99 you do get a nice amount of product you get 12 different nail tips and you also get that what five times so you um get your base gel you get the solid glue nail lamp i feel like like i say overall this kit definitely is a i give it a strong 10 out of 10 yeah <laughs> a strong 10 out of 10. mine is having to do a little bit more customization and like i say that's either here or there when it comes to the nail game not every nail tip fits everybody the same so you have to go with what you know girl go with what you know <laughs> Um, also, I do feel like with proper prep, you would definitely get two plus weeks out of these out of these nails. Like, I just feel like you would definitely get your two plus weeks wear out of these nails. And I have seen videos where you can even do a fill in. So interesting, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and grab out these two polishes. We have C640, which is a nice yellow base glitter color, like. Look at that. So I went ahead and showed you guys what that looks like. Tried to like show the glitters, but my camera wasn't really picking that up. So next we have color C646. And this is a nice orange color. Now for today's nail design, I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. Um, I decided to go in with this bright orange color on all of my nails except for like my um, ring finger. So, I did two coats of this bright orange, and I really like this bright orange color. It is really pretty. I really thought this was like a perfect color for this month of October, um, just because it reminds me of pumpkins. And I'm not really big with doing like Halloween nail designs. I, I don't know, it's just not my thing. So I just decided to grab a few little colors out and go in with those and do something really cute and simple. And yeah, just kind of wanted a nice set of nails, nothing too crazy. And now I'm just gonna grab my cleanup brush with some acetone on it and clean up any of that polish that I have gotten on my skin, just to ensure I don't create any allergies before I cure. And now I'm just gonna take that pretty glitter color and go in on my ring finger. And I'm gonna do two coats of this. And this color is really pretty to me, this glitter. You can see some of those purples. And like I told you guys, it has more like a yellow base, but it has like the holographic flakes in it. So it is really cute to me. I just couldn't help but use this color on my nails. And here we are with this beautiful orange polish as well as that glitter is popping yes i am feeling this like yes if you have made it this far in my video please make sure you drop some orange hearts down below in the comments that helps me know that you have made it this far and that you are enjoying this content so far so as you can see i am going to go in with some bling and I already grabbed my top coat. I'm gonna go ahead and top coat all of my nails and cure for a full 60 seconds. And I actually cure twice for 60 seconds once I top coat before I go in and add any of my rhinestones. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and take this Dash and Divas glue you have seen this on my last video and i'm going to use it today to adhere my stones or my rhinestones on my nails so listen y'all y'all are probably screaming at the screen right now when you see this part i put way too much glue 
when you are dealing with chunkier bling it's best to go in with small amounts of glue and build up from there so don't do this <laughs> don't do this go in with small amounts build up flash care in between that way your rhinestones stay in place and you're not having to keep putting them in the same spot but i'm gonna let you guys enjoy where i put my bling at like i said i'm just practicing some bling placement here i didn't have a rhyme or reason to what i was doing i just was seeing what works and what doesn't so i must say when it comes to doing your nails at home just do it to the best of your abilities do not sit here and try to go crazy about making it superly perfect you know have fun enjoy the process this is really therapy for me this is something that i enjoy doing for myself you know part of my self-care of the week is making sure my nails are done um right now they're not done because of course you girl got to record more content but just being able to have the ability to do your own nails is really a joy you know it's it's just something about that part of self-care is different, you know, just hitting on something totally different. <laughs> and if you can do your own hair, you know, having the abilities to do your own hair, your own nails, your lashes, things that, you know, most people have to pay for and you're able to do it for yourself, it's really a good feeling. So, yeah, girl, just enjoy when it comes to your self-care, enjoy the process. And boom, here go the nails straight out the lamp. Oh, they are so cute, y'all. I went ahead and added some of those heart pieces on my glitter nail. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my cuticle oil, rubbing that cuticle oil all over those cuticles just to give them some more nourishment from all of that acetone. We've been rubbing on them, cleaning them up. Look at it, oh, that is so satisfying. So I'm gonna do the cuticle oil for all of my nails, rub that in, and yeah, I just, I am loving this nail set. Like, for it to be so simple, it is really cute, really classy. Yes, it's giving off really classy to me, just saying. <laughs> so, yes girl, the nails are done, and make sure you go in up under your nails with that cuticle oil. Like right there at the tip of the fingers, go in and add some cuticle oil right there. That just adds some nourishment to those parts of your hands. If you know, you know that your nails do peel up under there after a few weeks of wear. So you just want to make sure, not your nails, but your skin. I'm sorry about that. Your skin does peel. So you just want to add some hydration there. And oh, these nails are so freaking cute, y'all. Like, oh, it's... <laughs> Yes, yes, let me zoom in, let me zoom in for y'all. Ah! All right, thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't already, please make sure you do subscribe to my channel. That way you are notified each and every time that I upload. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.